Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for December the 22nd, 2010. Now just to point out here, trading for 2010 is pretty much done. We're gonna, we've got a few counter trend positions here throughout the market here, but we're not going to get too aggressive with our positions uh, for the remainder of this year. Now our first trade, you can see that I have this base support building on US Swiss franc right around the 9540 area. Uh, so we're going to look at counter trend positions here. Now, looking at the Vantage Point software here for this particular trade, we're going to sold. This is going to be a counter trend position, and we are going to be solely trading off the predicted high and the predicted low of the day for tomorrow. Very important to point this out that again, this is counter trend and it is somewhat high risk. Now, looking at the predicted high and predicted low for tomorrow, we can see we have 95.32, which coincides with that base support that I have, and 96.21 is the high. So for tomorrow, we're going to be looking at long positions, 95.32, with a stop of about 75 to 80 pips here to allow for volatility. Now, again, counter trend, but looking at the charts, we've got a decent amount of support building around this. The, the Swiss franc, in my opinion, right across the board is is clearly overbought and I think it's going to start to base out here and start pushing higher and and it also is going to succumb to uh, further US dollar strength. Now it is important to watch the Euro Swiss franc currency pair because that pair is definitely under pressure and if the Euro Swiss franc breaks much below 125 we are going to see further problems on US Swiss franc but I think that's unlikely at this point. So that's our first position for tomorrow. Now our second position, we're going back into the March orange juice futures contracts. We, we had a pretty good trading day today, but certainly not short of volatility. Uh, the 157.50 level that I thought would hold, it pushed down to 156.50, but then immediately recovered back into the 159.95 area where it closed. We can see the trend line that I, draw, that I drew in on yesterday's trade. Uh, recommendation is held. It's bounced off of that level, slipped slightly below it, but then pushed higher. So for tomorrow, again, we're looking at key levels, 158.90, 159.58, 159.33. We've closed at 159.95. That is above all three of the vantage point predicted moving average. So let's now go into our predicted highs and our predicted lows. We're going to take for the remainder of the year, we're going to take one more shot again at these March uh, orange juice futures contracts because I believe that they have further upside potential much like what I talked about yesterday. So for tomorrow we have 156.64, 162.86. So we're primarily trading off the vantage point predicted highs and pre predicted lows on this one also. Uh, again we're going to be 156.64. I don't think we're going to see that tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow Tomorrow's entry point on these futures contracts, we're going to be using the 157.10 to 157.20 area. Stops down in the 155.50, I think, is a safe area. And again, we're going to be looking, your short-term traders are going to be looking at that predicted high from vantage point around 162. But your longer-term traders, they should be looking more in the 165 to 170 area on this particular contract. So those are the market positions for December the 22nd, 2010. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.